Hey all you squires and neophytes, it's time for some more Guild Wars 2 beta action. This is their second beta weekend event, and uh, I'm going to do some new character work here. Uh, I already have a lot of stuff I didn't record, just because I'm trying to get used to new, some, some new peripherals, and I didn't want to look like a complete noob, but I thought I'd you know run through some character creation process, uh, so you could see it. I didn't do that last time, but we're going we're gonna to do it this time, just kind of show you what it looks like. And, I think I'm going to do some Norn. I only didn't do that much Norn before. So we're going to do some more of that. And I want to try Ranger because I don't have a lot of... Ex I don't really know much about that class. I I'd like to know a little, more, a little bit more about it. So we're going to try that. You know, my last... Uh, when I was doing World v. World v. World before... Uh, I spent a lot of my time not only killing pets, but also rezzing them, and now it's time to find out if that was time wasted or time well spent as I figure out the pet mechanic. So we have the controls here, we can, you know, work on the height, and we're going to make him really short just because I said so. We can go build here. Let's hide the armor so I can kind of see how his shape changes. Is his shape changing at all? I think it's just lagging a bit. I don't know any difference between those two. We can go for the really bulked up. That's not going to completely crazy. Ah, that's that's good, that's good enough. Needs no. Oh wait, can I do? Uh... I guess I don't, don't do that color yet. Um, you can also do tattoos for the Norn. Let's do something a little bit bright here, just so I can see it for a minute. All sorts of different options. That was a little crazy there. That one I think is just kind of lazy. That was kind of snazzy. Oh, that one's extremely lazy. Just throw some paint on your face. That's that's brilliant. There's even more. Were there all these these before the Norn? There seem to be more now suddenly. There are definitely more of these now. Unless they have different features depending on what profession you choose. I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Let's go for this one. And how do we buy the color do we want? So I'm going to be a little bit darker. I want to go for sort of a camouflage look here. I can do head, different head features. There's a guy that the world has done no favors whatsoever. Eh, that's, that's good enough. Oh, this is, I think, where we can do the skin color. That's a bit sort of a zombie-ish color. Yeah, that's good. It sort of picks up the camouflage motif. Have I done hair color yet? Oh, I completely skipped over hair. That's that's just that's lazy too. I should have gone for the lazy build. <laughs> lazy tattoos, the lazy hair. That's just insane. Now let's gonna go for the bald one. Oh, hair color. Um, we can even color the doodads. So make those dark green to go with the camouflage motif. That just looks absurd. Oh, this. You go for the pink beard. Now 
Eh, we'll just do that. That'll be fine. Facial hair options. That's a tidy little beard. I don't even... What in the... How, how would you even do that? How much hair product would you need to actually accomplish that? And we'll just go with what was originally there. You can also think like eye angle. Eyes his eyes. And he's gonna... Have, uh, most of them you don't even think. I'll ah, just leave him there. Let's make him squinty. Thick brow. Sometimes you can just barely notice any difference. But it's there. And they're very tiny eyes. I have no idea why. And dark green because you can see him so well through his practically closed eyes. You can even work on the nose. Or you have to keep readjusting to see it. Square nose or a big flat one? I think the square one looks better. Mouth options. Now, I don't know if we're going to see much on the uh, chin as his, his beard is breathing. Size, hit width. He's gonna have a short head. So we will see jaw width here. Oh yeah, definitely. Look that wide. And then most importantly, the armor dyes, which you can also re-dye this in the game. There are all sorts of different colors you can use to re-dye this. They also have more dyes that you can unlock in the game as well. Or find, or buy. Oh, that's... I think it's starting to get a little ridiculous. Oh, you're gonna make a purple knee patch. That looks good. Yeah, let's give him green pants for no apparent reason whatsoever. These darker boots. I don't know why he just does. This this is absolutely absurd. Then we go into his backstory. You know, Norn or oh, Nor. Well, he's a pet, or he's a. Ranger, so he's going to have a pet. My pet blank fights at my side and guards my back. Snow Leopard, the beautiful Snow Leopard, is a symbol of independence. Its grace and stealth, both inspiring and make an unbeatable hunter. Eh, boring. Wolf Companion is considered a great prize when fully grown. It is a shrewd hunter and a devoted ally. Eh, maybe. My bear and I fight as a single unit. It takes only the slightest gesture to give a, com to give a command, and then we're tearing through our enemies. Yeah, sure, why not? That sounds about right to me. Can I color the bear too? I found sometimes when you do the, that little bit afterwards that, uh. No, you can't. Usually they give you an extra little piece of gear with your character in this screen, and you can actually go back and color that too, which is usually there, one that's there by default, but 
Looks like I can't uh, style my bear at all. Yo, bear, change color or something, all right? Yeah, no. Yeah, all right, well that was dumb. Trouble may follow me, but I may, but I use my blank to overcome it. I'm charming. No one can resist me when I'm at my best. I know just what to say to lighten the mood or bolster courage. Dignity, I'm dignified even when up to my ears in mud. It's what makes people respect me. A serious, though th thoughtful demeanor is the route to success. Ferocity and ferocious threatening violence gets me further than anything else I'm naturally doing. Though I do try to use my powers of intimidation for good. Eh, I probably have the characters people make are going to be ferocity, so I'm going to make this one dignity just for, the, just for the heck of it. You can also skip all this stuff, too, if you don't want to. If you don't really care. But all this stuff actually affects your personal storyline, which is sort of your own personal quest line to advance your character. And an interesting uh, feature of the game. The most important quality of a great hero is that they honor the spirits. Nor must always honor the spirits of the wild. Their bravery and cunning helped me, helped us escape the ice dragon. Okay, well, you know, I'm a ranger. That seems like it might be a good choice. Defeat our ancient foes. A true hero has the strength to defeat our ancient enemies. Protect the great lodge. Oh, so he's a lodge member. That's good to know. Defend the mist. Norn should revere and protect the mist where the soul of our ancestors endure in glory. Eh, I don't want to get all misty-eyed, so we're going to go honor the spirits. At a recent celebratory moot. I believe I talked about the moot extensively last time, or talked around it. Uh, held in Holbrook, I lost an heirloom. I inherited Rom Romic's horn, a magic magical ancestral heirloom passed down through generations. After one too many drinks, however, I wagered in a contest of strength and lost. Nah, it sounds like us. Revenge. I've had a rival ever since I was young. He's intelligent, treacherous, and cunning. I lost our last fight, but next time we meet, I'll even the score. Mm, I don't know. Blacked out. Ale. Rowdy brawling. It's far too easy to let loose in the thrill of the moment. After I woke up, I couldn't remember what I'd done. I'm sure it was nothing too terrible, and I woke up next to this bear. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do... He, he's a drunk. He looks like a drunkard to you. When I was still a kid, I had a vision. A spirit of the wild spoke to me and offered its guardianship. That spirit was a raven, clever, wise, guides us with truth. So the other sphere, he bestows a far-seeing clarity mind in my vision. He spoke of riddles, opened my eyes, and secrets the others can share. Eh. Wolf has the cunning of a pack behind him and parts the virtues of loyalty, ferocity, and strength in numbers. When, I, when he came to me, he whispered my heroic future and told me I would never be alone. Well, I'll, ranger, I got a pet, so Snow Leopard, a stealthy, smiling spirit teaches us independent strategy and laughter in the face of danger. To this day, the wisdom guide, her wisdom guides me and my memory of her visit comforts me in dark nights. Bear is the most powerful among the spirits of the wild. She's a symbol of fortitude and self-reliance. She wore it over me when I was babe, and ever since I've had Bear's courage in my heart. Despite the fact that I picked the bear pet, uh, we're gonna go for the wolf, just cause, yeah, we're, we're a pack, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, oh, see, I see, he just looked, he, he agrees. And this is where they kind of mix all those lines together and into one long story, and, uh, then you come up with your character name. Um, oh, gee. I don't know, I, I probably should have thought this out beforehand. Um... Always coming up with a name on the spot can be a tr bit tricky. Um, let's call him Buford. Uh, this name's probably going to be taken, but let's see. Nope. Oh, and here's my personal storyline intro. Coming up here in a second. I hope. Here we go. I am Nor. Hunter of the wild, born of the free and rugged Shiver Peak Mountains. In the far north, my people fought our greatest enemy, Jormath, a dragon of frost and snow. The dragon broke our pride, but it did not break our spirit. In our last hour, we heard the voices of four of the spirits of the wild, Bear, Raven, Snow Leopard, Wolf. They called us south, away from certain annihilation. We founded the Great Lodge of Holbrook and claimed new hunting grounds. Some say we should not fight Jormag. I say the greatest risk is to wager nothing at all. One day a hero will lead us home, and we will break the dragon's icy plan. I 
heed the seen of wisdom. My cunning confounds lesser foes. Like my ancestors before me, I seek glory. One day, I will take my place among the heroes of the North. The spirits of the wild have given me the gifts of trickery and cleverness. I challenge the skill of my enemy. I am the predator. They are the prey. I am still untested, but already, my deeds have earned me friendship and great respect. Each year, a great hunt is called in Cobra. Only the best among us are invited to participate. I'll prove my worth with God, collecting trophies to show my prowess. Then, I will drink and boast of my victories. I accept this challenge. I relish it. Come, danger. Come, adventure. In the lodges and halls of my people, my cunning will be remembered through the ages. This is my story. And this is my ridiculous outfit that some idiot gave to me. Some nice little intros they have there. I quite, I quite like those. So hunters, sort of a more uh, adept at ranged combat. Although I think they can do melee, as everybody has some degree of that ability. Also, you know, obviously they have pets, and I think they're also good, probably doing like traps and and totems. Which traps are probably just things they throw down that can deal damage and conditions to enemies. And I think totems are more like sort of reverse, which can apply boons and uh, heals and whatnot to to allies. At least that's my vague understanding. Like I said, I don't know a lot about this class, so I wanted to give it a try. So let's see, what are my F keys? So I got my bear here. I'm guessing that's his health. What's that? That doesn't seem to be anything. I might be allowing... I think I can swap out pets at some point. Probably not yet. So let's see. Attack my target. Remove a condition from yourself and... All nearby allies, that's the jump button. Guard. What does guard do? Avoid combat. Guard. Avoid combat. Oh, I wonder if that's the pet's logic. So this means he'll protect me. This means he won't go around attacking things and aggroing everything in a 10 mile radius. Okay, I, I can get that. Paw here. Pet management. He's got the bear, so yeah, it looks like I can probably swap out two different pets. Stats the bear amphibious. Okay, so this must be the bear's ability. So I wonder if these things change based on what pet you have. Slash both claws. Buy your foe and gain regeneration. Take no damage for the next few seconds. Yeah, so these are all the different pets you get. We may have to figure out that mechanic a little bit later. I'm not sure why they have two different ones. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure how this works yet. There's my heal. Looks like there, and... I'm equipped with a hatchet. Okay, so an axe. And bounce your axe off multiple foes. Okay, so throwing axes. Hey, there we go. over here. You don't want to miss a chance for glory. See how many times I hit the wrong buttons on my new controls. It'll happen a lot. Don't worry. Are you here to take part in this year's great hunt? Of course I am. Just tell me what needs to be done and stand clear. Hunt down the wildest animals you can find and take trophies from your kills. Present only the finest to Ido the Tanner to prove your worth. 
Whoever has the best trophy and whose bravery is the greatest will be invited to join the Great Hunt. Newt Whitebear has said this scene's event will be one of the most dangerous, so be ready. I've even heard the renowned Erstegalkin might attend. I look forward to impressing them both after I've earned my place in the hunt. I think about it and check the options. The sound might be a little bit high. So yeah, I'm gonna need to turn down the master volume. Don't want the uh, combat sounds to overrun the game. Hopefully that's good. Each year when the season comes, fresh young hunters rise to the challenge. Exhilarating, isn't it? Okay, so I gotta find some cool stuff to hunt. Uh, let's see, a Minotaur Bull. Oh, hunt down Dire Boar, Owl, Griffin, Sire, or Minotaur Bull and collect the trophy for your kill. Last time we found something hey, attacking here. Watch where you're planning those big feet. You almost stepped in my trap. Eh, and I did just step in your trap. You wanna fight about it? Oh, are all those Minotaurs gonna attack me if I attack this? Okay. Um, go get him. There we go. Whoops. Guess I'm gonna have to take care of the, uh, the little ones. Okay, so that was a successful first combat. Oh, and I've almost unlocked Split Blade. Oh, we might as well unlock that. There we go. Throw a spread pattern of five whirling axes to bleed foes. Kind of like this. Um, did I just... Seriously damaged the ground there. Well, see, now I gotta test it out. Oh, I can't start hurting defenseless animals, but I probably will. Well, it's better than what I did to that rabbit. That. Ooh. Yeah, sure, go for it. Did I attack that deer anyhow? Why my axes do weird things to the ground? We have almost unlocked uh, Winter's Bite. I think that's gonna have to wait. Hurry up, Ido. I want to get to the moot before Kettle King Drinker drinks all the ale. Or I do. I'm awful thirsty. Hail Hunter. I'm the local leather worker. I know. Show me your kills, and I'll make them into trophies you'll be proud to show at the moot. Pricking, singing, and boasting. I love a good old fashioned moot. Others save their parties for holidays, but I say every day of life's worth celebrating. Hey, Newt. Look at this impressive trophy. I'm not going to comment again Worthy this time. Hunt, I'd say. Indeed. 
you are skilled enough to defeat your prey, and wise enough to revere their spirits. You are worthy to join in this year's great hunt. By my own hand, I have brought the mighty worm as Sormir. He waits above in the plateau for one such as you to challenge him. The great heir Stegalkan watches over him now, waiting for the hunt to commence. When it is time, you and the others will go to the high ground over the valley. There you will face his Boy, you talk a lot. Claim victory if you can. I can and I will. This is where my legend begins. Who talks like that? This is weird. My camera's locked. There we go. My camera got locked there for a second. Oops, wrong button, wrong button. We're going to be seeing that a lot as I get used to these new controls. Um, should I just go the wrong way? No, we're good. Do I, unlock, do I need to unlock a new ability to before I go there? Seems like it might be a good idea. Are they throwing a barrel around? They are throwing a barrel around. Well, that way it doesn't go anywhere where I can hunt anything. That's a doliac. I don't need to hurt any doliacs. Ooh, a moose. Auto attacking. Nice. Okay, one more. After that, I wonder if F4 swaps pets. We'll find out eventually. Okay, don't ignore me. Go for it. Winter's bite. Throw an axe to chill foes. Your pet. Its next attack inflicts weakness. Interesting why my attacks affect my pet, but whatever. Of course, it can't really cause weakness if it just dies right away. Ooh, there's another alpine bull. Quit backing up and I can help. Wow, that was quite an elaborate death. He just tumbled around. Oh, he's another hunter. Muhammad Ali. We have Muhammad Ali in this game, folks. And apparently he's an elementalist. It's not what I would have pictured for him, but I guess he had to do uh, something after his boxing career. Hail to the finest hunters of the season. Does that include me? May Snow Leopard grant you swiftness and grace. Follow me if you dare, and ready yourselves for battle. Walk with the pack. In the eyes of Wolf, we are all brothers and sisters. 
Yeah, thanks for the pep talk, guys. But could you possibly be doing something more constructive with your time? 